Hello, Kenya. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. I I was wondering actually, um now that we're in, in now that you're in this um group, have you ever been in the United States or no? No, <laughs> no. Um, I have been living in Apopa since I was a child. So, yep. <laughs> Really? And okay, how did you learn English? Mm, well, at the beginning, I would say that, um, just studying in E4CC. Then it was almost for one year, but just on Saturdays. Um, so I felt like I was, ju I was just learning the basic things. Um, and then, um, let me see. Yeah, the second place was um, direct English. Um, and it was a good academy, I think. Don't mention Yeah. names. Don't mention names. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But how long ago were you on the first place that you mentioned? How long ago? How many years ago? Uh, what do you mean with first place? Uh, oh, sorry. It was like, um, it wasn't 2018. Yeah, 2018. 2018. Okay. And are you working right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, I'm at working. a, at a call center. Yeah. Mm Oh, -hmm. good. Where Where do you work? Yeah. Um, in, in Telus. At Telus, really? Okay, Yeah. <laughs> taking calls. Um, I think so. Sometimes we are taking calls, but I'm like a kind of part in um, participating in a special project. So it's like emails, um, doing album calls and those, those kind of things, like um, a little bit of everything. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you ha you have a very good English level at this point. How long have you been <laughs> working there? There. um, I think one year in a couple of months now because I started... Um, let me see. It was May, around May. Yeah, L last last year. spring, last year. Mm -hmm. Yep. Man, that's yeah, that's like a year and a half or so, almost a year and a half. Wow, Mm congratulations! -hmm. That's awesome. So, so you already had your first vacations. <laughs> mm, not yet. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, well, recently I have, uh, like, re uh, I have been requesting that. To my team and they were like oh we don't have any Oh anything my god. for December November Of course, I mean nobody, so yeah, no call center gives vacations. yeah Now nowadays they don't give vacations on November, October, November and December. And some of them in January as well. It's it's, it's a mm nightmare. -hmm. right yeah It's impossible. yeah so possibly uh for this um January something like that I will get my vacation Is this I hope is so this <laughs> the first time you are in this academy? Um, no, I have been here like two years, I think. No, Wait. I mean, um, two years ago, I was here, Oh, uh, but okay. I, I was doing basic levels and then, um, I don't remember what the other, but yes, then I just, um, it's like for a couple of months, um, I, I don't remember very well but I guess it's like there were not scholarships for us as you say Hmm. Seveka Perda. Uh yeah, yeah. yeah and so <laughs> I didn't I didn't continue until a couple of months ago But that so you were doing, told me. you were doing the academies that you mentioned, and also here, the scholarship Yeah. at the same time. You Yeah. really, you really wanted to learn English. <laughs> yes. No And now, it that that you're 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 actually um, using English at your work, I guess you're very happy because they do you got a good job actually. If you're not taking calls, <laughs> that's really good. yeah that's good Me just just a minute. You know what? I'll, I'll I'll stand up for just one minute. Okay, I have to close the window of my office. Allow me just a minute. Okay, it's raining. <laughs>
Yeah. Man, there's some heavy rain right now. So you're in a popa. Yes. Here it's raining too. Um, sometimes I have like bad connection almost all the time. So I hope it doesn't happen today. Everybody's having problems connecting to yeah. the session for some reason. Mm -hmm. Pamela can, oh, well, Pamela is having problems connecting her audio. Nelson is going to be as a listener because he's working. Oh. Okay. Hmm, that's not usual. Okay. Walter is saying something. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Sorry, give me just a minute. Oh my God, everybody's having problems. Did you experience any problem to access Zoom? Yeah, I think it was the same, but um, well, the, the picture that someone sent, um, it doesn't allow me to get into the meeting, but I was having Zoom um, hit on my computer. So I put the, how do you call this? Like the, Okay, give me just a minute. Uh, you can try telling them if they have the, the app, um, the computer to, to enter the meeting ID and in the password so they can enter it directly. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Thank you. Let me do that instead. Trying to there it is. That's what you meant, right? For me to share the meeting ID and the Password. Yes. Nobody's able to enter. Okay, Nelson is working. Gabriela, are you here? <laughs> oh Hi, my teacher. God. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Well, we're experiencing some little technical problems. But don't worry, we will solve them. 
really quick. Hopefully they read the instructions. Okay, nobody's following instructions. <laughs> oh my God. Well, let's continue talking. What do you think is your area of improvement kenya what have you noticed when you speak i mean what what's difficult for you at this point mm, i think most of the time maybe um grammatical pro uh, issues i guess and vocabulary um i really need to practice yes because when, when you're working it's like you're all every day saying just the same things mm -hmm. <laughs> like in a script but yeah, you, you just need like a kind of um, different topics, conversations, you know, to get more knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel that that's what I really need right now. And what helped you the most during this many years that you um, started, two years that you started, what, what is it that helped you the most? Mm, I think the talking to people, maybe. Just practicing that I, I feel like that's what will help you the most. Um, for example, when I went to the academy, I didn't learn um, I didn't learn just by reading something, you know, practicing. It's like if you are, for example, when you are listening um, a song, uh, you will probably that will help you in your pronounce um, like to read more fast and all those kind oh, of things. Oh, oh, yeah. Faster. Faster. <laughs> you see. To read faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I mean having a conversation is the best thing you can do to practice. Mm -hmm. But also reading, reading books is very important. Yeah. I think that that's something that I need. Oh, okay, okay, Probably. okay. My goodness. These guys are just not able to get in. Si no se puede meter de la app de Zoom, uh, mm -hmm. que está en Google, que vean si pueden instalarlo en la computadora. Creo que tiene que aparecer una opción o algo. Y desde la que está en la computadora ya pueden ingresar. Pero tienen que meter su, su usuario y todo. Their users. Well... I mean, a lot, let's give them a few minutes. I'm going to have to talk in Spanish. <laughs> So what are you doing, your line of business? Sorry? What do you do in your line of business? Mm, it's 
everything for repairs, replacements. Um, I would say it's for a home warranty. Everything, it's like business, appointments, um, calling contractors, all those kind of things, yeah. <laughs> that, that sounds weird. Mm, Not yeah. <laughs> very usual. Yeah, I think it's kind of complicated because people sometimes um, he's telling you like trying to describe. <laughs> yeah. You you is the second time you say sometime. Sometimes, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, sometimes. So, so uh, what is it? Is it real estate? Mm, no. I think it's related to that. Mm, I think like like this company is having people with um people working with real estate. They are selling houses to the homeowners, and then the, the homeowners are getting the warranty with them. Something like this is like a connection, and then um they are just calling if they have any problem at the time that they are you know, buying the house, so mm. mm -hmm, something like that. Interesting. <laughs> okay. I just can't believe they, they're not. So hold on. They need to download the app to join the meeting, right? Sorry. Tienen que descargar la aplicación para poder meter el ID. Yes, because I was uh, I was trying to use the one that it's um, in Google, but it didn't work, and it sent me to the um, like when you're going. Uh, it's the same picture that they sent, so I think that's the problem that they are having. Probably if they have the the app in the computer that that will let him to get into the meeting. But to download Zoom is very easy, right? You just go to zoom.us, right? Mm, let me verify. I believe I remember. Sign up is free. Set pricing, solutions. Oh my God, where is this download center? Okay. Okay. Oh. 
okay. <laughs> Wow. Well, well, well. Okay, let's continue. Uh, well, uh, today, well, yesterday we were talking about, I don't know if I should continue <laughs> with the topic or not, because only you are replying. Uh, Pamela is having all your problems. Gabriela is not answering. Sandra, can you hear me? Nelson is working. Sandra, are you with us? Okay. That is so weird. Oh my God. And if I try, it will tell me. I don't know how is it possible that it redirects everybody. Oh, it redirects them to join, enter an email address and everything. My God. Well. Okay. Well, Sandra, if you can, please join us. Uh, Gabriela, if you can as well. I mean, it's still connecting us. Sometimes she experienced problems with her audio. Oh, Sandra is in traffic. Okay. Well, things happen for a reason. Let's continue having a conversation. Um, Kenya, let's talk about yesterday's topic. What do you remember? What did you find interesting? about it was about cultural how do you call that <laughs> cultural <laughs> diversity cultural diver diversity yeah let me just verify here yeah that that's what it is i was wondering so you've been at this call center for almost a year and a half and um but you haven't been on site have you been only working from home no, um, I started by working on site, um, like for from May until December. Then I didn't want it to go there because from the Pope, uh, Apopa, uh, to Santa Tecla, it's like two, two hours, three hours. And then I, I was like coming from there every day with my father because he was working uh, around that area. So we were closed. And then around, I don't remember, like 7.30 p.m. Um, I was, I was, como se dice? <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, I just have a question. How would you say like when you are um, riding a motor motorcycle with, for example, with my father, but he's the one that is writing it. Uh, but I want to say, like, I, I was like a passenger going or... with my father. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was a passenger. So, um, once uh, when we were like at seven, eight p.m. now on the road, uh, we were we had an accident, and it was <laughs> really hard for me. Um. I even have lessons from that in my 
in my leg. So that was the reason why I requested to to quit my job. And, and I told that to my boss and she was like, oh, but no, don't go. I will go ahead and try that. Uh, you know, the account manager, I think, mm -hmm. um, provide me the authorization to work from home. And that was the main reason why they gave me like the chance to work from, okay. from my house. <laughs> yeah. They gave me the chance to work from home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you did you have um did you have internet at home? I mean like high speed internet like 20 megas or 10? Mm, just 10. Yeah. Just 10. Yeah. And <laughs> was there was there service for over 10 megabytes in a popa? No. No, there is not. We right. were, we yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. I know. Do you experience any outages? Yeah, a lot. Um the last couple of weeks I was like every hour, every uh every 30 minutes I was experiencing that and I was telling that to my you know to my supervisor um yeah but in the chat in whatsapp group mm -hmm. um so there was a point like the supervisor told me that i needed to probably i needed to return there and i was like no <laughs> so i i called the company and well it was a resolution because it's the same thing um, until now. Sometimes it is not working. My tools are like, you know, getting disconnected and that's. But really so hard. that's why you are in cases. Let's say you're in back office because mm -hmm. because of the connection problems. And I guess, mm -hmm. you know, do you believe that everybody who reports uh, technical problems is really having technical problems? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's why. Well, um, that's the same thing that someone told me the last time that um, there was a guy that was working in the same account and he was like every day saying, oh, I don't I don't have power or any other kind of issue. And then there was um, it was not like an accident, but the supervisor realized about what he was doing that he was like avoiding, um, how do you call that? Like work avoidance, right? Yeah, he was doing so, work avoidance. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I, I have been, you know, in that kind of trouble with them. But um, wow. I think until now, uh, I would decide to go again to the side or probably I would quit would, would from you my really, job this would year. You really? Yeah, uh, I'm waiting until December so I can get my, my full... <laughs> Amen. You know? <laughs> no, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Many many call centers do that. You know, many people mm -hmm. working in call centers do that, and, and it's makes sense. I mean, after a year and a half, I will do that after two years. I'm already two years in my current job. You know, and I love it. I I just like my job mm -hmm. because I'm doing nothing. I mean, just doing cases. <laughs> you will laugh at my job. It's difficult sometimes. But I'm learning a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. so that's why I haven't quit. And and it's like I get all the benefits from El Seguro Social and everything. Mm -hmm. That's why I have kept it. I swore I swore I will never uh, work in call centers again. After I quit in 2016, mm -hmm. I just dedicated all my efforts, my time to teach because mm -hmm. this is what I love. But... Um, is what it is you know sometimes mm -hmm. you gotta do what you gotta do but let me know if you if you want to move the place where i work is it's called black hawk sir black, black hawk network black hawk network it, it's really good it's really good i've oh. been there for a little over two years and they're very nice people there are growing opportunities you have great english i have to say compared to some agents that I have heard where I worked. <laughs> Believe me. Mm. Believe me. Back in 2010, somewhere around there, with my co-workers in call, in call centers, we used to say that there were there, there were not enough English speakers in El Salvador. And it was true. 
it was true. Now kids in call centers, they don't speak very well, but still the call center goes like, yeah, let's, let's take them. I mean, we need people, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's see. We have an Susana, Anaselmi, Adriana. Thank you. Sandra is in the bus. Gabriela also is in traffic. Uh, Pamela is having problems with her audio and Nelson is just as a listener because it's still working. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's it's on a different inbox, right, Adriana? It's just that Gmail, for example, it has like four inboxes. Uh, right. Yes, teacher. And Gabriela, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I have a problem. Mm -hmm. I, I have I have a problem in my email. Receive receive that. Receiving no receiving the, the receiving uh -huh. the confirmation, but you yes. made it. You made it. Thank you. Thank you for continuing trying. Well. In my case, teacher. Mm -hmm. For my classes, I use a uh, personal computer and the email is in institutional. Oh, but no, but remember that you need to use the one that you sign up with. El que utilizó para registrarse en el programa es el que tiene que utilizar. A ese le está llegando sí, la notificación. Pero el correo para poder accesar al código es en la computadora de la oficina. O sea, no puedo accesar a mi correo en otra computadora diferente a la de la oficina. Y, en, mm. y mis clases las tomo en mi computadora personal. De hecho, sí, hasta la tormenta, Susana, está lloviendo bien fuerte. Bueno, ok. Anyways, let's do this. Um, we were talking with Kenya about different topics waiting for you, uh, but about yesterday we were talking about um hold on um well we were talking about uh, diversity at work right diversity cultural diversity so um, on your book on page 10 there is some sort of um dynamic we have to start by watching two videos and well, we're gonna start on page nine today on your book and just building a conversation as we did yesterday. I was asking you if you had uh, co-workers, you know, workmates, it says on the book that come from different city, from a different city. It was a, a, an important question. Do you have co-workers from different uh, countries? And some, some of you said, yeah, you know, or at least you may communicate with people from other countries, right? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's see. On your book, on page nine, there you will find these questions. Describe how cultural diversity influences the workplace as we did yesterday. Do you have workmates that come from a different city? Adriana? Ana Selmi? What teacher? Repeat please. Do you have co-workers that come from a different city? Yes, teacher, I have. And okay, from the, from a different city in El Salvador, I guess, or yeah. from a from a different country. Both. Both. Okay. Do you share similar values with them, or is there some are there some values that you don't share with them? Now I believe yes, because I have a long time. Uh, work together. I have been working with them. I have been working, yes. With them for a long time. Okay. Long time. But but before this happened, I mean, what kind of 
um, differences, discrepancies that you have with them regarding values? For example, my boss, he's in Scotland. He's from? Scotland. Scotland. Yes, Scotland. He's, he's Scottish. Uh -huh. Scottish. He's uh -huh. Scottish. And in, when I began a, the relationship, the work with him, with him uh, I his think. style, his style was very strict. His managerial style was very strict. Okay. Yeah. Very strict because the for for him in general the effective is all measure, all measure. By now is. I believe that is possible to work and I share the value with him. Okay. So he was like disciplined, let's say. Yes, a good discipline. It's good. That's good. That is good. What about you, Adriana? Do you have anybody from other country in your workplace? We lost her, Susana. Hi, teacher. Yes, I have uh, a workers like from Guatemala. Only that? Only one? Only one, okay. And okay. The, does he um, have different values than yours? Excuse me? I can hear you very well. <laughs> Do they have different values than yours? Yes. It... They have many different in many, many stuff. Um, the same, the, the same, the same to do something. Mm -hmm. Or how do you say? I don't remember. Seguimiento? Following up? Follow up? Uh, follow up, okay. Mm -hmm. um, they have um, a form very, for me, it's strange. And he is a he is a manager, mm -hmm. and he is very. I I don't know how do you say, insipido. How do you say insipido in English? <laughs> simple. He's a very simplistic, what? simplistic person. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It, it's different. It, I don't like work with him. Oh, like I don't like working. I don't like working, I don't like working with him. With him. Really? Wow. So he's not an enthusiastic person. He's the opposite. Oh, no, no, no. He, he told you only, only good things. Oh, this project is good. You, uh, this program make your work more simple. But when you're doing, it's awful. It's complicated. Mm. So he's a liar. Uh, he's, yeah. simplistic. Yeah. he's a liar. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it was, so what you're trying to say is that he takes advantage. He takes advantage of people. Un oportunista. Maybe. Something. Yes, it's the truth. Yeah, it's the truth. That, that's, like that's the word. Yeah. An opportunist. Yeah. Okay, he takes advantage of people. Wow, wow, that's really bad. Okay, yeah. and wow. So, do you think that Guatemalans and Salvadorians share? Um, I mean, don't share some values. I mean, we're in the same region. Speaking the accent is different. I agree with that. Yes, is he talking like sing? Like yeah, cantadito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they, they talk like singing, right? I got your point. I yeah. think I think this person is like when you're talking about values. Values. Uh -huh. values 
I think this person uh, don't, I don't know how do you say that, don't, don't look the same person. O sea, no nos da lo mismo valor, se cree mucho. I don't know how do you say that. Oh, he brags. But does he brag? No. Bragging. Does he brag? Okay, yes, he brags. Is my perception? I don't know. I don't know. Is is because he's a manager? I am not. I don't know. Are you jealous? No. <laughs> okay, okay. No. Es que no, es que de verdad, tiene ideas muy buenas y te lo vende bien chivo. Y dice, vos vas a hacer aquí, vas a hacer allá. Y a la hora de la hora, es todo lo contrario. Usted perjudica mucho. Okay. Well, I, it, it, I think there are different kinds of people, right? We are all different. But how do you deal? How do you deal with this type of people with different uh, beliefs? Wilfredo, how do you deal with difficult people at, at work? Excuse me. How do you deal with different uh, kinds of people at work? I think is work, you only accept the person. You don't have a choice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tonight's topic is regarding that. Discuss strategies concerning cultural diversity. When it comes to culture, um, the way you were raised, the way you were raised as a child shows up. I mean, that is your job. Your job is what you were prepared for. Listen. I like thinking about this because I'm preparing the adults that I want from my kids. Listen, I'm preparing the adult, the other the adults that I expect my kids to be. I'm not preparing kids, I'm preparing adults. And one of the things, I mean, there are many things, right? But why is it important to take care of your kids in that sense? Because you they have to be prepared for their job environment. They have to learn how to deal with other people that are not their parents, right? Um, and let me give you an example. Um, the most difficult scenario that I had with a coworker was a woman. A woman, she had this sort of annoying mood it was annoying the woman fit perfectly in a call center because she liked to talk a lot the most talkative person i had ever met she was always talking 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 it was so annoying it's like I was talking with Kenya, for example, and suddenly she was looking at us and then started talking about our topic. So how do you call that in El Salvador, right? <laughs> she was snoopy, you know, always go filtering her boys into the conversations. And that was, that is bad, a bad habit, let's say. She used to get upset if you said something like, hey, I'm sorry, we are talking, this is private, okay? She used to get upset. So that she was very annoying. And, and I mean, and she used to be all the time talking to the boss, you know, like sweet, sweetie, very sweetie with the boss, bringing her food and many things, even money. I remember once she gave him, like $10 and we we're like in front of everybody. So I was like, what's wrong with you, right? That's the most difficult, in my opinion, the most difficult type of character that you have to, to deal with. Now, page eight, 
um, cultural stereotypes, cultural stereotypes. Can somebody define in your own words what is um, okay? What is the um, the concept? What do you understand by cultural stereotypes? Cultural stereotypes. Cultural stereotypes. And I tell me. For example, the old Chinese people is right. Mm -hmm. Are very clean. So that's a stereotype. Then. Very healthy too. <laughs> so that's a stereotype for you. Uh, Chinese it's people. Stereotype. Chinese people are very clean healthy. and healthy. Clean and healthy. Clean and organized. And organized. Disciplined. 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 Yeah. And it's not Chinese, actually, it's Japanese. <laughs> Japanese, <laughs> See, yes. For me, that's a stereotype. But for I you, had, it's Chinese. Uh huh. I, I had opportunity, teacher, I work with a Chinese company in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. And the executive, they are Chinese, the origin, Chinese, China. They, they had Chinese origins, perfect. They had a okay. Chinese origins. Okay. And the, in the middle of the day, they, mm -hmm. they take, um, you say they take a short sleep, teacher? Siesta? How do you say in English? Siesta. A nap. Nap. A nap for 10 or 12 minutes every Mi day. Minutes. Uh -huh. Minutes. Minutes. For 10 to 12 every minutes day. every day. Because for they. For them? Uh, for them, I'm sorry. For mm -hmm. them, um, the effective is better. The effect in the war is better. Definitely. Uh, sometimes it works. Sometimes it makes you more sleepy. You know, it makes you feel more sleepy if you take a nap. Okay. So cultural stereotypes. Chinese or Japanese people are very disciplined. They are clean. They're healthy. I agree with the healthy part, but at the same time, not with the organized part or clean sometimes, because they smell like garlic. Some of them, they truly smell like garlic. And it's normal because in their culture is is normal to eat a lot of garlic. And in fact, it's good in case you didn't know. Uh, that is something that I do right now. I'm, I'm, I'm on that. I'm drinking every morning. The first thing that I do is drink two garlic teeth, drink with two water cups. I, I always do that. And that helps me a lot to reduce cholesterol, to kill some fungus on my system, and also my pressure, which I just found out that my pressure is going up and down. So uh, I have to the, start. Garlic, the garlic has a lot of benefits. Perfect. For the next. That is true. That's what Frank Suarez used to say. <laughs> now, cultural stereotypes. Hmm. Let's continue. What about Americans? What have you heard about American stereotypes? What? How are Americans? And by Americans, I mean gringos, right? Wilfredo, what do you think? Tell me, would you repeat, please, the question? Yes, what stereotypes do you know about Americans? American people. Mm, I guess that sometimes they, they could be no, not all American people, but some but sometimes could be racist. Racist? Racist. 
They are racist. Okay, what else? And another stereotype that I could have about these people that they like go around the world. Like to travel. Yes, because I, I, I could see over there in El Salvador, Guatemala, um, with your back, only with your back. And with their, their backpack on their shoulders. Yes. What, but there's a there's a common there's a common stereotype about gringos. What is the common stereotype, Kenya or Adriana? What have you heard when you see an American here in El Salvador? How do you identify an American when they are here? In my opinion, I would say um, like a quality that they have. Um, if we are talking, for example, about um it's not like the um how do you say physical their physical yeah about their, their physical, physical appearance okay their, their physical, appearance like, yeah appearance could be you know always you're uh, <laughs> looking at someone like this you'll say oh as you mentioned yesterday they have you know blue eyes um they are tall um and um you know in my calls i have heard that they are really like too serious or they're like if you are being like too sweet they mm -hmm. are like um i don't know how to say like um they they don't talk too much i would say that or when they are talking it's because they are really upset probably and yeah. they start <laughs> screaming um so i would say they are serious problem they are serious very person. very demanding thank you kenya they're very demanding sure. and they're very stick to law they love to be right and they think they're right all the time mm. sure. yep I, i'm not other stereotypes that i i could see about american people that they don't like cook so much because they they prefer to eat a uh, snack or fast food fast food but, yes well as a kid i learned to identify americans and distinguish them from the english people and i learned it the bad way listen this is a true story i used to work for multicinema reforma yeah for the cinema and once I saw a beautiful girl because my dream as a teenager was to get married with a white woman, blue eyes, blonde, you know, just beautiful, right? That was my, my, my perfect fit. And I met her. I met her at the cinema and I went and talked to her and she spent like she spent like one hour talking to me. Then we exchange emails. <laughs> Her name was Erika Molina. Can you believe it? I was like, really? Okay, fine. Like one week later, she came back to the cinema and she was with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend was American. Now, how did I know that, that she was from the UK, you know, English? She was from London. And he was, well, she told me that she was from London. And then that his her boyfriend was from from America, um, and he was from Texas actually. Number one, she was very clean. She was very clean. Her skin was not very burned. You know, she wasn't red. She was pale, white, fine. But him, I mean, the guy was all brush. You know, all red because of the sunlight. He was in shorts, sandals, with his backpack, and she was on a dress with her purse like a regular woman. So, oh, and he was with a friend, maybe her, his sister, I don't know. But this woman didn't look like someone who had taken a shower. And that's a stereotype from Americans when they come to the, El Salvador. They don't take showers, you know, they, they, they are all sunburned. Oh my God, is that right? 
Is that a real part stereotype? Part of the aventure teacher. What? It's part of the aventure. It's part of the adventure. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> right? Okay. There is a stereotype. Uh -huh. They said another stereotype is uh, people that behavior uh, racist. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. And once we were in a fast food restaurant in California, mm -hmm. and suddenly, suddenly, a Chinese woman started yelling at my husband. Uh, and her husband grabbed her and pulled her out because she was insulting uh, my husband for be, be, being Latino. It uh, mm -hmm. was a bad experience because I don't understand what happened in this moment. <laughs> <I never> understood. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. It was a, a, a very in, in, in uncomfortable uncomfortable time, uncomfortable time and in my in this situation uh, i was only loud because she 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 was a crazy i i i, I unbelievable this situation it was an unbelievable situation yeah it was an awkward moment. Yeah, that was an awkward moment. New word, awkward. Uh, awkward. Awkward. Okay. An awkward, awkward, awkward moment. Another, another awkward moment is when I found my brother kissing himself in the mirror. He was kissing himself in the mirror. And he was telling himself, oh, my God, I'm so beautiful. I'm so beautiful. I'm, I, I'm so handsome. I'm so handsome. And he was kissing himself. And I was like, what are you doing right? That was awkward. That was so funny. I never remember. I never forget that. So cultural stereotypes. There's a lot of cultural stereotypes. Italians use their hands when they speak. Okay. That's another one. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, Germans love beer. Germans love beer. That's a stereotype. And so on, right? Now, let's go to the next phase, inclusion. When it comes to inclusion, we were talking about all these stereotypes. You have to, somebody said, you have to deal with them. You have to learn to deal with, deal with, different kinds of people include them it's okay now what is the difference between a, a, a stereotype i mean what's the opposite of a stereotype it's misconceptions misconceptions okay it's, it's like a synonym of misunderstanding that is a misconception when you think for example the japanese are very disciplined have you seen Yokoi Kenji? I love that guy. I mean, the way he speaks. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. So there you have a clear example of mixed cultures. He is, what is it? Uh, he's Colombian, right? Colombian for the mom family. From the mother's family, uh-huh. And, and Japanese, Japanese for fathers. From his fathers. Yes. So there's a huge misconception in his life because people see him, they see him, you know, and, and they go like, are you Japanese? Oh my God. Can you talk in Japanese? How do you know that, you know, he can speak Sp uh, Japanese, right? And so on. And ethnicity, can somebody look for that concept? What is ethnicity? No idea? Okay, think about it, find the concept, ethnicity. 
maybe. What is it, Susana? Like the place where from the people? Hmm. The place where people come from. A race? Think, think, Google it, Google it. Go to Google, find it, ethnic, ethnicity, and you tell me, okay? Before we move on, let me do the attendance for the first time because la primera vez no pasamos la asistencia debido a que eh, hubo un problema para que los estudiantes ingresaran. So, lo vamos a hacer ahorita por primera vez, okay? Ada Patricia Linares Galdames, Adriana Estefani Martínez Flores, Here. Okay. No microphone. Okay. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. It's not here. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Welcome. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Okay. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. He's working. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Pamela tiene problemas con su audio. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. She couldn't connect. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. She was here. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. I saw Walter connecting. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte and Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So let's move on with the class. On your book, there are some links. Oh, well, so I'm sorry. What is ethnicity? Is a, a special group of people? Really? <laughs> a special group of people yeah. with uh, things in common like their culture or their beliefs? No, it's a common culture. They have in common their culture. Yeah. What about religion? It's possible. Hey, did you know that there is a very exclusive ethnic, there's a very exclusive group of people and it's like a thousand people only. And they say, they say they are the descendants of Jesus. It's like a thousand people in the holy, holy soil, you know, in Jerusalem. And is what? Like the movie? What movie? Um, the, da Vinci. the Da Vinci Code. But I, I think it's Angels and Demons. Angeles y Demonios. No, the first one, the Da Vinci Code. Yeah, something like that. No, but in reality, there is a group of people. I was watching a documentary once and they said that they were all family and they, they get married between cousins, you know, uncles, because the blood, the bloodline cannot be um, lost. It's crazy. And they, they, I mean, they have proved that they have lived for over 2000 years and the same, you know, group of people. It's, it's amazing. So that could be an example. Yeah, Carla is right. What about Jews? So I think this is the one. Uh, there is a video on your on your book that we're gonna watch. Let me see which one of these two is. So there are two videos of less than two minutes each. Is less than two minutes. So let's go with the first one. Let's watch it. Take notes, and then you will explain to me or to the class actually what did you understand welcome rosa elena <laughs> yeah you made it <laughs> you finally made it okay so you have the link on your zoom chat 
I'm sending it to your WhatsApp right now. Okay, no se les olviden de los subtítulos, tomar nota, okay, de cualquier palabra nueva. Let's go. Okay, I'm just waiting for you. I'm finished, teacher. <laughs> Good, I'm done. Repeat, I'm done. I'm done, teacher.
Man, it's, it's not easy to explain this term. This term, um, bias, bias. These are the two words that I found unusual. I've heard them before, but they are unusual. A bias. Um, a bias is when you add more value to yourself or you think you have more value for some reason in terms of personality. Okay. And leverage, leverage is just a synonym of take advantage, opportunity, leverage, how you leverage things as they come along. Okay, so what do you think? What do you think about the video? What do you say biases could be positive or negative? Bias, biases is, it depends on the context. It's just like um, Salvador Dali. Um, this person was very egocentric, narcissist. He was a narcissist. He believed he was the best person in the world. He used to believe he was a god. He, he believed he was a god. Uh, so that's an extreme. I mean, it's not something good. But in some, let's say, let's talk about jobs. In, at the job, having bias could be something good. If you're a manager, you have to believe in yourself. To lead others, you need confidence to lead others. So yes, Susana, it's something positive, something negative when there is an excess of biases. You know, when you believe you know everything and you're leading people, is exactly what you said, Susana, about your coworker. I mean, he just gives orders. That is a boss, not a leader. Susana is a boss, not a leader. Do you understand that? The difference? Yeah. Yes, I understand. The Thank difference you. between a boss and a leader is amazing. That's a whole different topic. Okay, so what's the video about? About the uh, diversity and and what 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 the people guess about that. And I guess, teacher, that it is the panda culture that every country has hmm. because now in El Salvador there is a so common or it, or it is it's becoming more then, common yeah become become normal but, is the, the new normal yes yes because um i i remember uh, 20 or 25 years ago, uh, talk about that. I, I remember my, my family, for example, uh, they did definitely about what about, about gender, when, yes, mm -hmm. yes, but maybe in another, in another, in another country, it could be it is always it is normal. But now, actually, I, I guess that man, other countries this is, this is so normal. Then we have to we have to be so comprehensive, 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 and and talking about values, uh, religion values. It is depend because the Bible says and bravaron, but that's that's why I told you it is depend what. It's up to. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we have to be, I remember. Open minded. El Papa, el Papa Juan Pablo II told mm -hmm. that we have to be hard with the sin. But, lo but love the sin. No, 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 no. Hate. Wait, 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 wait. Duro, duro con el pecado. Mm hmm. 
Pero... Love the sinner, love the sinner and hate the sin. Love the sinner and hate the sin. Yes. Amar al pecador y odiar el pecado, right? Yes. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's something. It's a, yes. yeah. It is it's polemic. polemic. It's very polemic. It's yes, true. but. Emblematic. Uh, yes, yes. It's a word, yeah. So, but well, talking about the job, I mean, having different cultures in a job is very uh, good, but when it comes to beliefs, so let's put it in perspective. You have cultural diversity, people from other countries, from different cultures, and now you have, um, how do we call this? Beliefs diversity. I mean, as I told you on the previous module, is a trend, as Wilfredo is saying, is the new normal to be, for example, men, men, uh, we are more oriented to feelings nowadays because we were raised by a matriarchal, you remember? We were raised by women, so we love women and we don't, we don't hit women. We are not hard with our kids because we're, we're made of love, right? And everything. So we're more <laughs> from the heart nowadays. Back in the days, my father was very strict. My grandfather was, my God, right? Very disciplined and everything. But those were other times. Nowadays, it's very different. So diversity, accept the diversity at work. Not easy, but that's what we're doing. Okay, second video before we start the reading in group. We have a ringing group today. Another second video. This is just of uh, one minute and 36 seconds. It's very short. So I'm going to share it with you again. Oh, sending this to the right wrong person. Okay, there you go. You have the second video on the chat. And here in Zoom. Again, take notes.
Okay, and that sounded a little bit redundant, right? But more specific, what do you think? I don't know, teacher, what is thriver? <laughs> Good. Thrive. 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 Okay. And broaden. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so I don't. I don't remember narrow. <laughs> yeah, narrow. I wrote that one too. Thrive. Narrow. Broaden. Okay. Thrive. It's like when a flower opens, okay? <laughs> Literally, a <laughs> flower opens, okay? But you as when a person, uh-huh, Rosalina? The, the, oh my God. When the winter, no, no, oh my God, <laughs> I forget. When the spring, spring, yeah, spring, when the yes. spring comes, when spring yeah, the comes, flowers, uh -huh. yeah, the flowers. You say bloom, bloom. Ah, okay. Bloom. In that context, the flowers, you know, they bloom. Okay. Flowers bloom, but you, ah, in you, that you, case, thrill is like a, something like me. I thrive, thrive. <laughs> uh, thrive, thr thrive, thrive. Not easy. Mm. Th thrive. Uh -huh. You thrive. Uh, your business, your business is thriving. You you're an entrepreneur. You have a pupuseria, right? You start for a week, and then your business starts thriving. Also, so, studying. If I study and I get a better position, a job. Great. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh! You grow. I thrive. Oh. You're thriving. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. You're thriving. That's right. Yeah, it's it's growing. It's a synonym of growing. So let me continue with Susana, narrow. Um, how can I explain this? Uh, the, it's a noun, as a noun also, do you remember where, the place where Batman parents were killed. <laughs> the place where Batman parents got killed by, by the Joker, that's a narrow, a narrow. Okay, hold on, right? So, and a <laughs> Uh, if you you can use it as an adjective too, she's a narrow person, you know. Is it just a narrow person? It's very. It's adjective too. Yes, teacher. Narrow. Yeah, it is an adjective. Yeah. That is correct. That is correct. It's an adjective. Narrow. Is like not broaden. It's okay, the opposite could be broaden. There's a broaden. Um, there's a variety of options, so the, the options are very broad. It's not huge. It's, it's not it's synonym of huge. Can of I say big. can I say it's a there's a narrow street? There's a narrow street, right? Okay. Correct. Correct. And can you be narrow? <laughs> Your hips are narrow, they say in El Salvador. You have you have narrow hips. I remember when when my wife uh, gave birth of Christopher, our first son. The doctor told her told her you have narrow hips. You know, so it's gonna be difficult. Yeah. It's gonna be difficult for you to to give birth naturally. So it's gonna be a cesarean, right? <laughs> that, that was crazy. I mean, yeah. Okay, that's a bird example. Um, so the ones that I wrote, let's see, right? Background. There are different types of background, your educational, Experience. your knowledge. experience, but yeah, knowledge. knowledge, where you come from. But at a job interview, if, for example, your boss tells you, hey, what's Carla's background? Okay, you can start with the educational background or the job experience. And lastly, the last thing that it refers to is her life background. No, no, boss. Carla comes from Carla comes from La Vinticinco. What? 
from, from, from Las Margaritas. She grew up in Las Margaritas and then she lived in Sayapango and other That's a stereotype teacher. That's a stereotype. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. Yeah, we, that's background in life experience. And exactly, it's just your experience in life. I'm just playing, Carla, you know. <laughs> okay, let's see. Something that I liked, talent acquisition strategy. Talent acquisition strategy. They used that term to refer to the profile of the person that you're looking for. As she explains on the video, right? It has to be a white person, 30, between 30s and 40s, with good background, you know, et cetera. Let's see, miss out. What do you understand by miss out? Aurela, <laughs> what is miss out? When you, when you omit something. Like a skip? No. Yeah, we cannot miss out the opportunity of hiring such and such people. That's right. Skipping. That's right. Very good. And that's it. Okay. So we have two videos. Now let's go with a presentation. I will need your help to talk about this. It may be a little. Oops, we're gonna have some commercials during this presentation, but it's okay. There is a common term on this topic that we're talking about, cultural diversity. And a common term is the melting pot. The melting pot. So let's become more participative, okay? Student center, student center. So I need your opinions. What is the melting pot? What do you think the melting pot is? Como sé que están en ambiente Teacher. silencioso y están enfocados en su clase, Teacher. pueden todos abrir su micrófono si lo desean. Go ahead, Adriana. Can you hear me? Yep. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, maybe the combined the different person. <laughs> the combination of different people that's A right yeah it sounds like that right look at the image it says italian chinese irish mexican russians 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 and america coming to america so we're gonna learn a little bit about culture about history okay so these are the different contexts, uh, the contents, I'm sorry, from the index, let's say, the background of a term, the background of a in the, term. In the Jamboree, in, it's an event for a scout teacher, Jamboree. Yeah, that's an event for, for Scots, uh, for scouts, I'm sorry. Where, where are you looking at that? Oh, do you mean when, when all the scouts get together? Get together, but it's, it's a event, global event. It's a global event. I remember I was in the scouts uh, when I was like 12. It was fun. It was nice. Okay, promise. This is an example of the me, me. The melting pot? The pot? No. Mm, no, not that way. Let's see, let's see. Promise reality hey racism racism okay racism Sism. Sism. racism heterogeneity heterogeneity of nation heterogeneity of nation difficult word intolerance okay division of territory division of territory way out the way out Americanization, hyphenated Americans, hyphenated Americans. I'm gonna stay with that term. When you hear words like African-American, Italian-American, Irish-American, Chinese-American. Yeah, you got it? That's a hyphenated American. 
What is a hyphen? Do you know what is a hyphen? Grammatical sign. Oh. Is a, is a, yeah, it's a grammatical sign, a, a dash, a little line. Okay, the background of a term, Rosalina. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of this century, as this famous poverty, poverty into American ports, they strategized. Sturges filled with European immigrants. A Jew from England named Israel Samuel painted a play whose storyline has long been forgotten, but whose central theme has not. His production was entitled entitled. entitled Oh my God. Entitled. 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 The Mountain Pot. <laughs> Such a few. Thank you, Rosalena. Okay. Such a few words, and there are many that we may not know. What is the first word that you don't identify, that you don't recognize here? This is strategies. What? Poor, 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 you pour some sugar on me. Left mm. leopard, yes, yeah. poor, you pour liquids, you pour liquids, uh, pour wine, you pour wine on a cup, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, you derramar basically is like, yeah. Mm. Liquids, steamers. What is what is what is steamers? Steamers. Steamers. You don't know what's a steamer. Now, uh, steamer. again, les invito de nuevo a que ubiquemos la raíz de las palabras. ¿verdad? Steam. What steam? Gabriela, Adriana, Kenya. What steam? If I'm not wrong, it's like um, when you are cooking something, but I don't, I don't, uh, I don't remember the the word for the. I, I mean, a steam. Oh. It's like I you have um, steam. Yeah, steam. I like a boat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's like a boat. William says yeah. exactly. With Fred, I'm sorry. Yeah, a steamer. So steamers were boats conducted by steam, just the way trains used to be back then. So picture it at the beginning of this century. So that was like in the 1000s, okay? Or 1920, 1920, something like that, 1900s. Okay, steamers poured into American ports their steerages. Their steerages, their third parts. That's weird. That's weird. Filled with European immigrants. This part, their steerages. Do you remember Titanic? Okay. So this word, steerages, is referring to the third class. You have first class, second class, and then there was Leonardo DiCaprio, right? <laughs> The third class of the boat. Okay, so picture it. Picture it. It's People... similar the economic class. Exactly. No, even worse. Even worse than the economic class. I mean, they, they were just class. <laughs> people with fleas, you know. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. 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 With European immigrants. Okay. So they were all immigrants from Europe. I don't know if you remember, but there are some movies like that one, for example, Titanic. People from Europe wanted to come to the new continent. They wanted to come to America. I mean, wow, a new land. Okay. Es increíble pensar cuántos años tendrá Inglaterra. O sea, todo ese lugar. Oh my God. It, it's overwhelming. It's, it's abrumador. So, a Jew. You know what is a Jew? Do 
Por eso les digo que no digan you. I love you. Ok. Because you means judío. Ah, oh, you, yes. Uh -huh. Jewish. Yeah. Jewish. Jew Jewish. is, is yeah. the diminishing, the diminisher of Jewish. So a Jew from England named Israel Sangwill penned. Oh, this is written in British. What you are reading most likely is like British because pe by penned, they are saying wrote, write, wrote. Okay, Walter. <laughs> well, he cannot listen, so. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So he penned, he wrote a play, okay? A play, una obra, a play whose storyline Okay. whose storyline has long been forgotten. Ese whose le están ocupando como cuya historia, cuya línea histórica se ha olvidado hace mucho. Has long been forgotten. So this is British. But whose central theme has not. Can somebody translate really quick? But whose central theme has not. Pero cuyo tema central no, no se ha olvidado. Hablando exactly. de que se Exactly. And mm -hmm. central theme has not been forgotten. His production was entitled The Melting Pot. So this is the background of the, of the term of the melting pot. There's where the term comes from. Let's continue. A promise. Let's see. Ana Selmi. This message is still holds a tremendous power on the national imagination. The promise that all immigrants can be transformed into Americans. A new alloy, a new alloy for forget, forged, a, mm -hmm. forged, forged in a crucible of democracy, freedom and civic responsibility. In a crucible of democracy, freedom and civic responsibility. I like to say power. 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 Pa power. power. Yeah, power, power. Power. Really quick, super rápido. Algunos adjetivos, palabras o verbos incluso los vas a encontrar terminando con O, U, S. Entonces una clave. No pronuncies la O. Tremendous. 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 Jealous. Jealous. No, jealous. Sin la O. No, O. No, O. No, O. No, O. Jealous. Jealous. Okay, power. Promise. Power. Promise. Promise. There you go. Transformed. Transformed. Into Americans. A new alloy. Forged. Forged. What is forged, teacher? For, forjada. Oh. Uh -huh. In a crucible of democracy. Crucible. In a mixture, a mixture of democracy. Freedom yes. and civic Freedom. Responsibility. 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 A citizenship. 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 Yes, because in the American, the origin is the immigrants. Yes. That's what we're getting to. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. that's talking about the melting pot. You know how America was built. So let's continue. Let's see, Adriana. Ideally. Ideally, USA plays a role of hospitable. Hostess that accepts every, everybody, everybody under his control and lets them keep their own. Uniqueness, you, no, giving them equal rights and an ability to self-realize. Self-realize, self-realize. Excellent, very good. Self-realized, very good. 
ideally, USA plays a role of hospitable hostess. Hospitable. Aquí es donde se vuelve ya crítico para un estudiante de avanzado haberse grabado lo de, ah, la T entre dos vocales, o en aérea, ¿ok? Va para todos. Hospitable. Porque te va a ayudar en muchas palabras más largas, ¿ok? So, hospitable hostess. A hostess, when you go to Pizza Hut, there's this person at the door saying, welcome, 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 coming in. Go to this table. That's the host. Host. So USA plays a role of hospitable hostess that accepts everybody under her control and lets them keep their own uniqueness, uniqueness. So we have our own uniqueness. What makes me unique? I don't know. I'm a teacher. I'm unique in this group. Uh, Wilfredo is an engineer. So he's unique. Rosalena is an accountant. He's unique. She's unique. And etc. Right? Etc. Um, giving them equal rights and ability to self-realize. What do you understand by that last part? We have equal rights and the ability to self-realize ourselves in these states. When you're doing the stuff, only you? When you do? Something is a, it's for your account. In your own, in your own. Oh, 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 I got you. That That's self-realization, exactly. That's self-realization. I want to be a football player. I will fight to be a football player. When I want to be a singer, then I will self-realize myself. I got you, perfect, perfect. It's my right. So Rosalena, Susana, Anaselmi, Adriana, Kenya, we all have the same right. We could be singers, lawyers, if you want, whatever. It's our right. As simple as that. Okay. In reality, Kenya? Um, in reality, there are problems caused by the fact that people of different backgrounds um, habits and preferences have to live together. Um, number one, uh, racism. 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 Sorry. There racism. Um, hetero. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> Heterogeneity. Heterogeneity. Heterogeneity uh, of nation. The number three, intolerance. Right. And number four, division of territory. Terri I don't know. <laughs> Terri territory. Territory. Okay. Let me play. Let me play the word. Heterogeneity. Hmm. Heterogeneity. Heterogeneity. I will say geneity. Heterogeneity. Geneity. Heterogeneity. Heterogeneidad. Heterogeneity. Hmm. Yeah. Even in Spanish, that's difficult. Thank you. Hey, ism, ism. This, this um, specific final sound or final, uh, this, this way of ending of this word, you know, is everywhere. Socialism, politism, atheism, racism, ism, 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 ism. Okay, look at this, US population projection, um, I don't know, for 1997, there were 73% white population. Hispanic were 11%. Black people were 12%. Asians were just 4%. Let's see. So what population has growth the most based on this chart by the year 2050, which gener which um, population has, will will be will have grown will have grown the most by 2050, based it, on the. It will be possible, teacher, that the Hispanic increase in pers in percentage Man. in 2050. The participation 25 percent 
having a participation more, the, the... more than half. Anna said me? Yes. It's more than the half. That's true. It's possible. I don't know. No, no, no. That based on the chart, yeah. I mean that that's what it's saying. And you know what? It's becoming a reality, I will say. Latin Americans are everywhere nowadays. Let's talk about racism. Racism. Let me see. Wilfredo, would you like to read? Yes, of course. Racism. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Racism and ethnic discrimination in the United States has been a major issue since, since the colonial era. era. How do you pronounce? Era. 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 Uh -huh. And the uh, slave era. Legally sanctioned race, race imposed a heavy border on Native American, African, African American, Asian American, Jewish Americans, Arab Americans, and Latin American. Latin Americans, very good. So racism, not easy. Racism, racism and ethnic discrimination in the United States. Remember, I've been telling you this a lot. The United States, the United States. Yeah, Americans will always tell you, hey, it's not the United States, it's the United States, please, okay? That's like saying, uh, Wilfredo, are you from Salvador? Yes, I am. Yeah, you are from Salvador? You're not from Salvador, are you? I yes. Yes. Oh, a human. Will you, will you repeat? Are you from Salvador? I'm from El Salvador. Oh, El Salvador, right? So the same feeling an American has if you say the the United States, you know, or you just say, "Are are you from USA?" No. The United States is very complicated. Okay, has been a major issue since the colonial era, 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 and the, oh, and the slave, the slave era, the slave era, the slave era. Okay, legally sanctioned racism imposed a heavy burden on Native Americans, African Americans, Asian Americans, Jewish Americans, Arab Americans, and Latin Americans. Man, it's, it's, it's wow. They just named it. And this is what, what the introduction was saying, hyphenated Americans, hyphenated Americans. We don't want people like that in our country, ethnic, cleansing unit, vote one Howard. <laughs> okay. Okay, so yeah, some people is like that still in the, in the United States, just like Carla was mentioning. Okay, and it's not good. Hetero, heterogeneity, 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 heterogeneity of nation. Heterogeneidad de una nación, oh my God. Not even in Spanish, I know the meaning of that word, but anyways. Um, let me see, Susana, are you there? Susana, 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 can you please come and read? No, okay, Carlita, help us. Heterogeneity of nations. It's clear that when you think of a typical American, you can visually person as be right. Visualize. Person. Hey, good. Visualize person and be right. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason of it hides in that fact that Americans are a mixed nation. Never have they been a clear crop of people with at least same physical features. Hey, good features. Great job, features. So this 
what do you think? I mean, I want to hear you guys. We're almost done, but what do you think about this story? I mean, America was founded by immigrants. Okay. Do you think you are American? Are you American? Yes, we live in Central America. Yes, we yes. live in the continent. In the continent. Continent America. That's right. We are all Americans. That's right. So, yeah, but, you know, in their constitution is, that's the way they, they left it. So they proclaim uh, Americans. And, and it sounds good, actually. North Americans sounds too long. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, so it's just a stereotype, an international stereotype, I will say, to name someone African American, Jewish American, Asian American. Okay, it's, it's just a stereotype. And yeah, in the United States, it's very common to have intolerance as people get used to their own traditions, holidays, behaviors, languages. You know, you will see that everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Okay people from different countries in the States. We're almost there. Okay, so that was just to give you an idea. Tomorrow, we're gonna play with this information that we have used in this class, and we're going to make a role play. So give me your general thoughts, general thoughts about this topic. Now the diversity is a, uh reality it's a reality and it's very important to to respect the difference between the people because each person is different in my opinion it's very important the the good tolerance because we have the different way to think. Please. That's true. I'll send you the presentation. It says the last part talks about territory because in some states there are very antique churches, for example, Rus Russian churches, Russian churches, um, Jewish, Jewish temples, uh, Templary temples. And, and as you may know, they are mainly Masones, right? Like many Americans are, are Masons by nature. And, and in general, white people, there's like white supremacy in the States, but in reality, the same thing that happened with us, with Latin America, happened with the States. But we were conquered by Spanish people. They were conquered by um, Anglo-Sajones. I don't know how to say that for English people, let's say. Um, especially Vikings. Vikings were the ones um, inviting North America. It's a beautiful story, actually, if you see it if, that way okay so tonight hmm. adriana did, did we have the chance to stay together yeah right for 10 minutes yes third okay. day yes i was with anna selmy already edwin is not with us tonight gabriel alejandra gonzalez flores will you please stay 10 minutes Okay. Good, just 10 minutes. Thank you guys. I'll do the attendance so we can rest a little bit. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames, Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present.
you. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. You're still working, I guess, Nelson. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Pamela was connected and not anymore. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present with you. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. She didn't reconnect. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Hey, we can hear you now. Thank you. <laughs> Wendy Thank Patricia you. Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rey Rivera. Present teacher. Reina Rivera. Oh my God, I'm just adding last names. I'm sorry. And my mom is, uh, what, what last name did you tell me? Reina. Oh, no, no, no. Reyes. Rivas. 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 I, 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 yeah, no, but my, my mom is Rivas. Okay. okay. Well, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Make sure you connect. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Hey. Bye. Good night. Good night. Sorry, my brother just came to visit from Santa Ana and I didn't see him. <laughs> so, how's it going, Gabriela? Mm, everything is fine. I'm tired, but eh, all, all is okay. Everything Thank is okay. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, that's great. So, why are you so tired? Because my job. <laughs> because of? Be uh -huh. Because of my job. Because of my job. Really? Busy days. Yes. Do you have do you have high peak seasons? Uh, yes, uh, actually and uh, now well uh, two weeks ago China was at holiday. So now uh, all people uh, want to dis dispatch whole shipments. So um, we have a lot of work now. Oh my God. And before you were calm, everything was smooth, very simple. Okay. Yeah, yeah my, my neighbor brings um, imports cars and he usually brings them through land through sea you know by sea by sea with mercy land mm -hmm. and etc right so today well yesterday he he brought three cars so he one is in <laughs> front of his house the other one is more in front of his house and the other one is on my garage because he repairs <laughs> the cars and then he sells the cars but he, oh, no. but he was like oh my god i just got the three cars at the same time you know because uh, logistics is it's crazy right now <laughs> yes it is <laughs> but it's good it's good i mean the fact that logistics is like the logistics around the world is like moving is starting to um be more dynamic it, it's good yes. So, okay. What do you think are your challenges for for next year, like job related? Uh, in my job or in... Yeah. Uh, well, um, it's coming uh, different projects for the government. So, uh, it's probably pro probable that we will have more uh, work. <laughs> and there are different processes that we need to study and learn how we can do it. So mm, this is the, the oh my God, a uh, reto cha challenge. Uh -huh the challenge that we will have next year so yeah 
And like that, most likely. Most likely. There's something that Americans use a lot. Chances are, and then you say, we are going to, da, 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 da. okay. Chances are we're gonna have, chances are we're gonna have more work. Chances are uh, China is bringing more products. So chances are, chances are. Okay. Most likely. Okay. Good. So uh, most likely you will grow in your company. Yes. Is your company growing? Uh, yes. Uh, well, when I started in this company, uh, we are only Where? Uh, eight or nine persons. And now we are almost 20. So yes, the company is, is growing. Hmm, very good. Let's correct that. We were only eight we or were. nine people. people. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We were only eight or nine people. Now we're like 20 employees. Okay, that's good. And you only do logistics, right? Yes, uh, we are a uh, I for water, we uh, only uh, shipments by sea, by uh, land, and by uh, air. 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 Yeah. air, 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 okay, air. handle, handle. Handle. There you go, we only handle ship, shipments, um, freight by air, freight by land, and by C. Um, C. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you, you like what you do and that's the most important thing. So question, if I need to bring an, the half of a vehicle from the United States, can I do that with you, with your company? If you want, uh, what, sorry? <laughs> if I want to bring spare parts for my car, Ah, yes, uh, um, now uh, we have a new uh, area in the company, uh, it's named eShip. It's, uh, we offer services of a courier. So uh, if you buy something at Amazon or eBay or any other Any web. website uh -huh. <laughs> yes uh, we can um, bring it bring it yes to el, to el salvador hmm? are you but do you charge by pound yes uh, the price is based on the uh, dimensions on, on the volume of the cargo and no, only the weight. Uh, we consider uh, most the the volume. Mm -hmm. What is less expensive, by air, by sea, or by land? Mm, it depends. The for example, if you want to uh, buy something in the United States it's better that you uh, bring it by air uh, because the the time is is less it's shorter it's, it's a shorter, shorter but sure. yes it, it depends on the the volume and the uh, the price of the the, the, the thing that you mm. okay yes. It, it, yeah, I mean, it's an engine, it's, an, it's a motor, an engine for the car. That's like 800 pounds at least. That's very heavy, an mm -hmm. engine. I know, nah, I don't know. I'm, I'm planning, how am I gonna do on Christmas because I'm planning to buy another engine for the car and put it myself, you know, it's a lot of work. But I'll be very happy when I do that, whenever I do that. 
that's my project for, for the end of the year. And we're very close for the end of the year. Uh, when are you planning to finish working at your company? Uh, planning to? Yeah, do you mean stop working on Christmas? Uh, no. <laughs> no? We, we, uh, no, we don't stop. <laughs> Oh my uh, God, not even yes. on the 24th and the 25th. Uh, well, uh, this year, 24 is Sunday, I think. Oh yeah, and you don't work on Sundays. Um, yeah, we okay. don't work. Mm -hmm. And Saturdays? But, um, sometimes when we have a lot of work, we go to the company, but um, it's not. Not always. It's not very common. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for staying with me for these 10 minutes. I really appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good, Good night. Good night, Gabi. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.